Hello everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. This is the Satyricon checking in. Now in today's episode we are trying to... Well we're gonna finish up some things of on the base. So we're gonna do some uh, spikes around the wall outside. Um, also we are going to go on a chitin and keratin hunt. Because as it is, um, we kind of... Uh, want to craft the assault rifle and the uh, fabricated pistol I think it's called. So for that I do need a lot of polymer or polymer, I don't know what you call it. Um, so in order to do that we need obsidian and we need cementing paste. And for cementing paste you need the chitin or keratin. So that's what we are going to do today. So to start off with um, let's check exactly what we need for the spikes. I should have everything here. Um, wood, hide, fiber. So we have a bunch of fiber here. Let's just put some on us. Uh, we need wood and then just hide. I have a bunch of hide here. So let's just take some of that. Alright, now just the wood. I don't know how many we need, but I reckon that we need quite a lot. Um, because we haven't really done anything if after we extended the base, so we should probably go ahead and do that now, since we are quite extended now. Uh, let's see, don't need food that much. Let's just go over here because I reckon that we don't have enough wood, so we can do some more here. We can do seven more of that. We have much, much, much more wood, so we can just go ahead and fill it up. So we're getting nine more. All right, so seventeen more now. So we have twenty-six when it is done. That should be quite a lot. Just gonna see, just gonna finish this up. Um, also, we leveled up today actually, so we are now level 68. So, we're still level 70. Uh, there's not really much you can do on level 70, to be honest. Uh, you can do the this bow, I don't remember what it's called, and uh, you can do uh, metal arrows. That's pretty much it, and then you have the scuba gear, scuba gear uh, on level 75. So that's pretty much it. It's not a lot you can do with that, to be honest. Something that we should probably learn is the rocket launcher and the uh, propeller, propeller grenade, because we will need it when we are raiding people, which we are going to do quite soon. The only thing I need to do is pretty much check exactly who's are our our allies and um, who's not. And then we are going to make an episode <laughs> when we are just going and raiding pretty much every base that we see along the beach um, that are in wood. Because um, if it's not in wood and if it's uh, stone and everything we can't break in with the T-Rexes and stuff so um, that's why pretty much. So let's go ahead and or put down some spikes around the base, on the outside. So as you can see there is none here, there are none here. I think we haven't put any spikes down where we have extended the base. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do now. Just helping the team out. Taking one for the team pretty much. So we have 26, so we're gonna, just going to start from my own base, where I did it before. We're just going to start, go ahead and place them down pretty much from there. That should be good. Alright. And then we just continue from here. 
and make this around the base pretty much because this does protect you quite a lot like if uh, people would like to try and raid you I don't know if people would actually try and get through this with the dinosaur but I mean it looks badass as well so it's not only for protection it looks uh, more protected as well so like maybe it would uh oh come on I'm falling down here why am I falling uh oh. so yeah it looks more protected so maybe that will scare people off I don't know we haven't been raided yet so that's always a good thing alright so that's good let's continue on this side also if there will be any holes in the base then this will definitely cover the gap and no one will be able to go inside like that Right, and then we just have the gate over here, so we can put this one like that. Perfect. That looks pretty good. Let's continue along this way. Just gonna put this one around there, and then we will continue. I don't know where the best area for kiting would be to look for it, but I reckon it would be inside of a cave. However, I don't really know where the caves are at the moment. But I would just want to find a bunch of like um, ant soldiers and stuff. Because they always give you a lot of chitin. So yeah, I, I think I would probably try that. Well. We will see, we will see. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. Who are you, sir? Where is he? Oh, okay. Alright, we have done quite a lot actually. We do have a long way to go. But yeah, we can go ahead and just finish um, everything up that we have in the resources. Uh, wrong buttons. Bye bye. If you come in here, I will kill you. Bye bye. So sorry. Dino glasses. Woo! -hoo! Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, can't let him be inside of the base. Uh, plus, he didn't have any stuff on him, so no harm done. Let's just go in here and check what we have in here. We just need. Ba -ba -ba -ba, we need a bunch of wood uh, that's pretty much it let's just do that save 100 wood to something else later on so we can do six more I guess that we yeah we don't have enough wood oh, we actually have more wood no this is something else I like fiber oh yeah I don't have enough fiber Ooh. I see well, let's put uh, some wood here, and we can go and grab some fiber from here. I really need to go and grab some more fiber when I'm out on a hunt later on. So, we can grab some more now. Ten more. Alright, that should be it for now, and uh, then we can go on a kiting run.
it's only five more. I'm actually running out of things to do as well in the game, or at least in on this server. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna run in caves and get like all the things that you need to call in the brood water. I probably will do that in another server. Um, probably a rich server that I'm playing on as well. Or I'm not really playing there at the moment because they made a restart of the server. So for now I am not playing there. Uh, they made a restart just a few days ago. So I will start there very soon. And when I do, I will probably do like kind of too serious in in a sense so that I will name these ones um, I believe it's good server and the other one rich server in brackets probably so that you can distinguish which one is which so I mean if you don't want to watch um, me doing all the cave stuff and things then you can always watch these videos however we are going to have quite a lot of fun going through the caves because from what I've seen it's quite difficult, at least some of them are. The bat cave I think is quite difficult. There's so many bats in there. Um, right, let's go ahead, continue placing these ones down. But yeah, we are also going to do some um, survival of the fittest quite soon, I would believe. So that should be a lot of fun. That's pretty much because you, you start without anything and you have to kind of survive as long as possible. So I think that could be a lot of fun to do. Uh, maybe to do kind of a tiny series about it or whatever not sure but yeah I will definitely want to try it on and just to see how good we can do basically alright so we have managed to do quite a lot of the base um, so we're not gonna bother doing this anymore we just have this stretch here and uh, pretty much all around this side and then we're pretty much covered all around with the well these spikes and also we have up here spikes so no one can pretty much jump into our base because we had some visitors sometimes so we put the spikes up there on the cliff so they can't jump in and we also put some walls up there to prevent them from getting into our base so and now let's take one of our dinosaurs and head out for some hunting. I think we will just take one of the T-Rexes. Also guys, um, a little update that I forgot to tell you. Um, we do have two Brontos now. Uh, also we have a new T-Rex. I don't know why I closed it but old habit but yeah I'm gonna show you terror over where he is here this is terror guys say hello hello terror uh, I pretty much got him yesterday it's already level 47 uh, level 48 <laughs> because um, it was level 25 when I tamed it, I got plus 11 levels, so 36 when I got him out of the, or when I tamed him pretty much. And now, now it's 48, which is uh, my second highest dinosaur I believe, or T-Rex. Because Ella is level 54 and then Dolly 62 and 33 and uh, I don't know, Rocky is probably at 45. So yeah, it's uh, at least one of the highest uh, T-Rexes that I have. I think it's the second highest, or the third highest, sorry. Uh, but yeah, then we have a level 43 Bronto, and a level 21. 
So we have Bingo, <laughs> Biggie, and uh, Bungo Ride. Bingo, Bungo Ride is the one that we are going to ride. <laughs> it's freaking huge. Just look at this. <laughs> I'm so tiny up on it. But yeah, it's uh, quite awesome to be honest. It's quite cool. The only thing that sucks is like when you jump off, you have to. Ah, you do hurt yourself. Because it's so far up. I don't know if they maybe should fix something or whatever, but yeah, it's fine. So for now we have six T-Rexes, we have seven Spinos and two Brontos. And the small dinosaurs over here pretty much. So we are, we are getting along quite well with what we have. So let's just take Dolly out on the spin and see if we can find any ants pretty much. Up in the forest. Just gonna close my gate so no one will go inside of it. And I hate that Epic has left one of his carnos over here. Because it's in the middle of my path going out from the base pretty much. So yeah, we are pretty much going to... We need a lot of chitin. Uh, or keratin. Pretty much both. Because all the cementing paste that we need for the fabricated pistol and the assault rifle is... Ridiculous, almost. Because also, you don't even know, need a polymer. I'm just gonna call it polymer now. Um, you only you, you do need cementing paste as well. I think you need 50 cementing paste on top of the polymer that you put into it as well. Um, which kind of uh, sucks because that's a lot of keratin and chitin. So we're just gonna pretty much kill every single um, trike that we see and every single uh, turtle. Because we want the keratin, and then if we see any ants or uh, dragonflies, then of course we're going to kill them for the keratin. Seriously? No luck now? Just gonna head back, or head into the forest here. So hopefully we can run into some ants. I also saw a T-Rex, or a T-Rex, a trike over here that we are going to annihilate. <laughs> this T-Rex is so good now. Alright, two keratin at least. Ooh, ants. Come here. I can't lose the bodies. Alright, we got 24 keratin out of that. I don't know if I got both of the bodies, but... Is there no more ants over here? Let's go up here and have a look if we can see any ants. Do you guys see any ants? Because I don't. I guess that like they will just come to us eventually, but I would love to have some ants right about now. Oh, there's a scorpion here. Ooh, 35 keratin, or chitin. That's very, very good. We're getting uh, lucky with the chitin, at least. Is the dialo get wrecked. So yeah, my dolly here is getting uh, pretty, pretty nice. We have soon 400 percent of melee damage and for no 10,000 health which is quite good I would say for a T-Rex uh, just imagine all my T-Rexes and my Spinos uh, all together did I actually then just step on a freaking Dilo where are you So yeah, it's gonna be quite fun. 
I'm going out raiding with my dinosaurs because they are going to pretty much kill everything in their path so it's gonna be a lot of fun so I'm looking forward to doing that episode to be honest uh, the only thing I need is pretty much a list of all the allies that we have and then we're going to run along the beach and pretty much just um, break down every single base that we see which are not our allies that's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> 